Your vehicle may have an available feature that can help keep your distance from the car in front of you when you use cruise control. It functions just like normal cruise control, with a few exceptions. Let me tell you about it. Adaptive Cruise Control maintains a preset gap by adjusting the vehicle's speed so you don't need to constantly use your brake and accelerator to adjust with the speed of traffic. To turn Adaptive Cruise Control on, press and release the on-off switch on your steering wheel. The information display will show a gray indicator light as well as the current gap setting. Now, accelerate to the speed you want, press the set button on your wheel and release, then take your foot off the accelerator. The information display will now show a green indicator light, the current gap setting, and your desired set speed. And a vehicle graphic will illuminate if the system detects a vehicle in front of you. Once Adaptive Cruise is on, it uses radar to constantly scan for slower vehicles in front of you and automatically adjusts your speed to maintain the gap. You may notice that on occasion, you go slower than you initially set your cruise for. But don't worry, the system is still working. Once traffic is cleared, you'll return to the speed you set. You can adjust your follow distance using the gap control on your steering wheel. Pressing it up decreases your follow distance setting and allows your car to follow at a closer distance. And pressing it down increases your follow distance and expands the distance between you and a car in front of you. In fact, there are four different gaps that you can choose from. One bar, or the sportiest setting, gives you the smallest gap. Two bars, which is the default gap, three bars, or four, which is the comfort setting, and it gives you the biggest gap. Keep in mind, braking at any time turns off the adaptive cruise control function and gives you manual control of your speed again. When towing a trailer, pressing the tow haul mode button located at the end of the gear shift lever, here, activates the tow haul feature, which will allow the adaptive cruise control system to automatically follow at a slightly greater distance. This is handy since the extra weight of a trailer requires more braking distance if needed. Oh, and one more thing. If you wish to change to the conventional cruise mode, go to the menu settings on your instrument cluster and select cruise control, and then choose normal. Any questions? Go to owner.ford.com.